New in Final Cut Pro 10.4 is the ability to keyframe color corrections so that they change over time. Here's a shot where the camera moves from outdoors in direct sunlight to a shaded porch and then indoors where there's a mix of sunlight through a skylight and a hanging incandescent light. When the camera's outside, we can see from the waveform monitor that there's decent color balance, but there are no dark shadow areas. When the camera moves inside, we have broader dynamic range, but also a yellow color cast due to the changing color temperature of the light source. Let's start by correcting the outside shot. Command 6 for the color wheels, and I'll bring down the shadow brightness. There's a little too much blue in the highlights, so I'll push the highlights puck up towards about 10 or 11 o'clock between the red and yellow, attempting to balance the RGB parade. And I'll press Option C to toggle that correction. The shot now looks better here, but when we move inside, we've exacerbated the yellow color cast issue and have lost some shadow detail. We can address this issue by creating a separate correction here while keeping the outside correction and smoothly animating between these corrections by using keyframes. To get started, let's first move the playhead back to the outside shot. I don't care about the precise location of the keyframes at this point. I just want to lock in this correction on a frame where it looks good. At the top of the color inspector, I'll click the Add Keyframe button. Notice how it changes from hollow to filled with an orange color. Next. I'll move the playhead to a point where I'm fully inside the house. Note the keyframe icon is back to its default hollow state. Now I'll bring the shadows back up a little, then correct for this lighting by moving the master color puck away from yellow towards blue cyan. Once again, attempting to balance the RGB parade. Because we set a keyframe for this correction at a different point in time, the changes we're making here automatically set a new keyframe. Notice that the keyframe icon is solid orange. I'll also move the highlights puck to try to balance the top of the waveforms. Because we have a mix of light sources with different color temperatures here, we have to choose which one to correct for. I'm choosing to balance the bright sunlight in the skylight, leaving a yellow cast to the hanging lamp over by the door. The walls are actually yellow, so I feel this approach is okay. I'll use Option C to toggle that correction. If I now scrub the playhead through the clip, we can see the pucks in the wheels move, and the correction animates between the two keyframes. However, the correction starts changing while the camera is still outside. Now that we've set the two corrections, it's easy to adjust the timing of the transition between them. I'll press Ctrl V to show the video animation bars. Here are our keyframes. I'll move the playhead to the point where I want the first correction to start changing, perhaps as we move into the patio, and then drag the first keyframe set to the playhead. Then I'll move the playhead to a frame where I want the second correction to be fully in effect. Let's say as we just move inside, and I'll move the second keyframe to the playhead. And let's play that back. We only set two keyframes here, but you could set as many as you like for changing conditions and quickly move them precisely in time. This ability to keyframe color corrections to change over time works on all four correction types and is a great new feature in Final Cut Pro 10.4. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I've created an entire in-depth tutorial called Advanced Color Correction in Final Cut Pro 10, now available at RippleTrading.com.